All right. So this was number one. Yes, yeah, sir. Twelve two. Cool. All right. So can you guys help me turn this into a matrix? So one two one. One two one. One, two, one. Eleven. Eleven. And negative one. one. Negative one. Two. two. And the last row is two, two negative, negative one. 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 Okay. Oops. Why did I do that? <laughs> okay, so the system for this is just that you want you want to get a zero here, preferably to start with. Okay. So that amounts to the idea of eliminating the x's out of this last equation. Okay. You guys see that? The reason you start here is I want to make this a triangle of zeros. Because if I make that a triangle of zeros, then this equation will tell me about z. Then I can put that information into this equation, which will tell me about y and z. And then I can put that information in the top one, that will tell me about x. Does that kind of make sense? Okay. Okay, so I want to get rid of this too. So the first thing I'm going to do is show me how to get a zero there. Swap a negative on the first equation. And then... Oh, like add them all together or something? I don't know. But just multiply the bottom by negative two. By negative one, excuse me. Multiply the bottom by negative That'll one. That'll get you one x, though, still, because you'll have three negative x. Oh, I thought that would, that would try to get to zero. Okay. Yeah, I'm are, trying are to get... Are we doing all three of the equations at once, or are we doing... So, the things I'm allowed to do, I'm allowed to multiply rows through by something, and I'm allowed to add rows together, and I'm allowed to swap the positions of rows. Okay. That's all you're really allowed to do. So, things I might try are, I could, let me see, so I probably can't get a zero there in one step without doing something crazy like multiplying through by zero, mm -hmm. but I could, like, for instance, leave the top row alone, so I've got one, two, one, augmented by 11, and my second row, I could multiply that through by two, so minus two, minus two, four, two. And then my last row I'll just leave alone. So I've got two minus one, one, four. So that was take row two and multiply by two. That's a row mm -hmm. two turns into two row two. Yeah. Then my next step might be, okay, now I'm set up to get a zero down here. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take row three and I'm gonna, what? Combine it with row? Yeah. I'm going to take row three, I'm going to turn it into row two plus row three. Okay. So I'm going to leave my first row alone. So I've got one, two, one, eleven. And I'm going to leave my second row alone. So I've got minus two, minus two, four, two. Okay. And then what do you get when you add row two and row three together? Zero. You get yeah. zero? Minus three. Minus three, five, and six. Five and six. Cool. So you so you have to have three rows at all times though. Yep. Like even though you combined those two rows, you wrote it down at the bottom, but you left row two still there. You couldn't like just have it go away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can't just I mean, collapse that, two rows. Confusing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna change one row at a time, mm -hmm. and the other rows are just gonna stay. Okay. The only exception to that rule is when I just swap two rows. Mm -hmm. Then they're both going to change, but nothing's happening to either one, really. Right? They're just getting to change. So my next stage here is going to be, I want a triangle of zeros down here, right? Okay. So can I get rid of this? Multiply the top by two. I could multiply the top by two and then add. Do I have any hope of getting rid of this minus three? Probably not, but you can leave that, can't you? Yeah. It's all for the top mm -hmm. two rows. Does that make sense? I don't have an equation that only speaks to y's and z's. And so I have no way to get rid of this y without introducing some x's in, in, in that equation. So the only thing I would do by targeting this guy is lose my zero here. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Okay. So this is that thing we were, like when we tried this as just equations, we ended up chasing around a lot of variables. Right. And the reason we did that was we kind of didn't have a plan for what we were going to get rid of. Okay. But this gives you a nice plan. 
get rid of the x's in this equation, then you get rid of the x's in this equation, then you get rid of the y's in this one, and then you've got z equals a number, and then you've got an equation in y's and z's, and an equation in x, y's, and z's, and you can back substitute. So, tell me again, Daniel. So I'll multiply the top by 2. Okay, so you're going to take row 1 and replace with... Row 1 multiplied by 2. Perfect, 2 row 1. Two row one. Why is it multiplied by 2? The top one, because we want the 2's to cancel on the, on the second row. Yeah, so I'm going to want to get a 2 there. So in any problem, you always multiply by the first number of the second row? Yeah, opposite, kind of, yeah. right? Opposite, yeah. yeah, and that's actually how you would tell a computer to do this, right? You would say, okay, take this row, multiply by whatever you got to to get those to add to zero. Okay. So I'm going to multiply by two row two, so I've got what in my first row now? Two, four, two, two, four, two, two. 22, perfect. My second row is going to be the same, right? Minus 2, minus 2, 4, 2. My last row is going to be the same. same. 0, minus 3, 5, 6. I need to learn to write that. Okay, so I did this. Now what? So now I need to squish the first and second row together. Okay. So row 1 replaced with row 1 plus 2. Close. Two. So I want to add row 1 and row 2, but where do I want to stick it? In row 2? In row 2, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to leave my top row alone, 2, 4, 2, augmented by 22. And then my middle row is going to become? 0, <laughs> minus 2, no. Positive 2. Positive, Positive two. 2, excuse me. Right. 0, 2, Six, 24. twenty-four, and my bottom row is going to be, same. yeah, just what it was before. So zero minus three, five, six. Now we can look at <clears throat> the top and the middle row and see if there's anything that makes it easy to get ones or zeros, or we can just divide them both by two. Okay, we totally could. That would be really fine. You guys see that? Yeah. Like. These, oh, okay. yeah, the two there. Everything here is multiplied by 2 because I did that earlier. Everything in the middle row is multiplied by 2 because I did that earlier. I could take that out there right? because I needed that earlier, but I don't need it now. But it might make it easier now just to sort of eyeball it and make sure that the numbers there that make things 1. Yeah, so what's my next target, the thing I'm looking for? Yeah, i got to get rid of the negative 3. So well, what am I going to do to get rid of the negative? Um, you have six up there, but then you, you can't use t you can't use the, both the top row to get that. Yeah, so, so I definitely want to stay away from the idea of using the top row for this mm -hmm. because the top row tells me about x's, y's, and z's, right? right. And I want to eliminate a y. Common, greatest common factor, the lowest common factor. Lowest common. Greatest common. I don't know. So the two words, the two words that you're fiddling with, I think, are greatest common factor and lowest common multiplier. Multiple. Yeah. So what I want is the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3. So 6. So, six. so this is going to be a weird one because we're going to do two things at once. Okay. Right? So row 1, what am I going to do with it? Yeah, I want to leave row 1 alone. Maybe I could take the 2's out of it. Whatever. I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, so I left row 1 alone. If we multiply by 6, won't that bring us back something we want to bring back x's? No, because we multiply zero. So, yeah, I'm going to multiply these two rows. Uh -huh. I'm not going to multiply by 6. I'm going to multiply this one by... Does anybody see it? Yeah, I'm going to multiply this one by 3 and that one by 2. Right, and, and is that going to well, bring back x's? Yeah. Well, there aren't any x's, right? There's zero. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do row 2 gets replaced with 3 row 2, and row 3 gets replaced with 2 row 3. See that? To address that first term is 6. Mm -hmm. So what do you get in your middle row? Zero. Zero. 
I'll put those ones in for you. <laughs> yeah. Six. Six. Eighteen. Eighteen. And seventy-two. Seventy-two. That's how many hours there are in three days. Nice. Yeah. Right. See, that's a number I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's zero. And six. Negative six. Ten. And twelve. Twelve. And I probably could have saved myself a little bit of numbers. I could have kept my numbers a little smaller by taking the tubes out earlier. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. So then what's my next stage here? Uh, row 2 plus row 3 to get zero. Okay, so I put row 2 plus row 3 where? In the bottom of row 3. Perfect. Okay. So I got 2, 4, 2, 22 in the top, right? So I haven't filled with that. And then what do I got in the middle row? Yeah, leave that one alone. 0, 6, 18, 72. We'll probably want to take a 6 out of that thing in a second. And my bottom row is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 28, 28, and 84, and 84. 12. So then. Uh, you guys see that? Um, so maybe we can, maybe you guys can help me. What do I need to multiply here? Like, I want to get the numbers back down to manageable sizes. They got big because I kept fiddling with stuff. Do you want to divide by well, seven? Let's divide the first one by two, the second one by six, and the last one by seven. Okay, so R1 goes to a half R1. Okay, so let me do that before I write down anything else. So what's half of row one? One two, one. one, two, one, eleven. One, two, one, eleven. Okay. I might notice that's what I had at the beginning, actually. Mm -hmm. And should be. Okay. Let's see. What else did I want to do? Well, divide by one, six. Uh, by one, six. Okay. By one, six to what? The row two. Row two. So row two gets turned into one, six to row two. Mm -hmm. So what do you get there? Zero, one, Zero. three. Okay, cool. And what's the other one you want to do? Seven. No? What are the what can I get out of twenty eight and eighty four? Really I'm thinking about factoring, right? Mm -hmm. So what's the what's the odd common factor between twenty eight and eighty four? Seven. Yeah, seven at least. So row three turns into a seventh row three. So I get zero. Four. Yeah, four. Zero zero. Yeah, sorry. Zero, zero, four, and twelve. Oh, shoot. I could have taken the twenty-eight out of that. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's make that adjustment, right? Twenty-eight, and that'll get me a... One and a two, three, one. One and a three. Okay, so what does that last thing tell you right now? That Z equals three. Perfect. Right? So these three? Okay. So now do you guys want to play more matrix games or do you want to just back substitute? So you can finish it two ways is what I'm saying. Okay, okay. Uh, so now that you have Z is three, you could either go back and substitute that in for the other two equations or... We could probably get... Or we could try to get zeros up here and then we could just read them off. So are those multiplying together though? Like if you plug your Z back into that 3 on the row 2, do you find out that Y is 4? Let's not quite. No, not quite. Let's talk about it, though. So what this guy means, right? So row 2 really means what in terms of an equation? That when there are 0 X's, 1 Y and 3 Z's, it equals 12. OK. But you know what z is, right? z is 3. So yeah. take that information, plug it in here. That gives you y plus 9 is 12. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you don't have to be an Algebra 2 student to solve this one, right? This is way back in the day. So y equals 3. So I get y is 3. And then what's my first equation say? The x 
Two x plus two y plus six, x plus two x six, plus six and three. Okay, so x plus two y plus z is eleven, right? Mm -hmm. But then I know things about y and things about z, uh -huh. right? Right. So you get x equals two. So I get x plus six plus three is eleven. That tells me x is two. Okay, and then I have just barely enough room to finish this off. How do I write my answer? Like an ordered pair, but three? Yeah, like an ordered pair, but three, which you would call an ordered... Triple? Triple. Or a triple. triple. Oh, triple. <laughs> yeah, so... Two, three, three. Two, three, three. Uh, and those go X, Y, Z, right? Yes. So better. I was over but there trying to get bam, like done. zero zero one zero one zero zero uh, one zero zero. And yeah, like, and that's fine. That'll work. It was really stressful though. This is so. I would advise that instead of so, if you're gonna kind of play matrix games some more, don't aim for don't aim for zero one. Sorry, the, the perfect. Don't aim for the perfect thing, which would be this, right? Right. Well, it just takes a little bit of time, right? It's kind of unnecessary. Getting one zero zero number, zero one zero number, zero zero one <laughs> number, right? It takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. I may be a little bit better at back substituting like this, so that that's totally okay. If you have thirty variables, though, back substituting is a pain in the ass. Or if you're teaching a computer to do it, teaching a computer to back substitute is harder because you already taught it how to do this, so mm -hmm. it's. It's relatively easy to teach it how to get to a form like this. But the form like this that I would shoot for isn't with ones, it's with whatevers. So I would go for A zero zero number, zero B zero number, zero zero C number. Because that just tells me right, that C times Z is number. So Z is this thing over that thing. Y is whatever this thing is divided by B. And x is this thing over a, right? That'll make your life a little easier, so you won't have to deal with horrible fractions in there. Oh. They have to occur. On this guy, though, right? We know what this would look like at the end if we got it into one zero 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 one zero 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 one. What are the what does the augment look like in this case? It would look like two three three. Yeah, two three three. Perfect. And if we wanted, let's say we had crazier numbers, we could have just taken this, multiplied by negative one, and applied it to these two, and try to get these numbers down. Yeah, so the way that I would advise for play more matrix games, so I would multiply this by negative one, add it to that guy. Right? Right, right. And I mean, we can even by do negative this. Three, it's add not it to that guy. You want another problem? No, we can do this one. Let's just finish this one off with the kind of. That's what it was, a pot pie. Everything really wasn't forever. All right, so I want to take this and finish it off. So, okay, let's start over here. So, I want to target that one because it was in the opposite spot as where I started, right? Does that kind of make sense? Which one? I want to target this guy. Oh, okay. Because I started this thing with first priority, second priority, third priority. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but backwards. First priority, second priority, third priority. So if I start with this guy, I've got a one here. I just need to flip the sign and add it to that, right? Okay. Okay. So I might even just write that down up here. You guys see that? So this is like minus row three, just kind of written down out in space. Mm -hmm. And then I would just take row one and add minus row three to it. And I want to put that into row one. So I get here, I'm going to leave my third row alone. I'm going to leave my second row alone. And my first row, I'm just going to take those two and add them, right? So I got one, two, zero, 11. 11, three. Minus, 11 three. minus 3. Okay. It's 8. Knowing the numbers, that's 6 plus 2. So 2 plus 6. Is that 
Yeah, and we could check our solution still works, right? Another, so then my next priority would be to get rid of this three. Mm -hmm. So I'd multiply this last row by negative three and add it. Okay. So I might write down minus three row three, just kind of off in the margin. That zero, zero, one, minus three, nine. Right? Mm -hmm. And so my next step is going to be to take row two and replace it with row two plus minus three row three. So my top row is going to stay one, two, zero, eight. My middle row is going to change. My last row is going to remain the same. What's my middle row going to be now? Zero, one, zero. Zero, one, zero. Three. Three. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> Doing good. And then, let's see, I need twice, maybe minus twice this one to get rid of that, too. Mm -hmm. You guys see that I have to use this row? Yeah. I kind of don't get a choice, right? So I might write down minus two, row two, right? That's going to be... Minus two, row two is zero, minus two, zero, minus two. And so I want to do row one turns into row one minus two, row two. <laughs> <laughs> and so here I get I s my other two rows, my bottom two remain the same. And my top row becomes zero, zero, one, zero, zero. One, zero, zero, two. Yay. So this thing of kind of writing these down saves me the trouble of if I like if I did this the way I did the first way down, right? Mm -hmm. I'd get like I'd have a minus three and a nine here. And then here in this middle row, I'd have a minus 2 and a 6. You guys see that? So at the end, I wouldn't have ended up quite with this. I would have ended up with minus 2, minus 6, and minus 3, 9. Is it the same information? Sure. Then you have to divide it. But then we didn't want to divide it. Yeah, we divide this one by negative 3 and that one by negative 2. Is it a negative 9? That's supposed to be. Oh. What is happening? I was over there just fishing out about this stuff. So. No, I don't know. I lost the sign. Like two was easy. Yeah. Three happened. Yeah, two super easy. Three gets scary because you don't know which order to do things in. Yeah. But it's the it's even worse with the equations, right? Oh yeah. Because I'm when I'm looking at a matrix, right? If I've got a three by three augmented matrix, this is first priority. This is second, this is third, and then you're ready to back substitute. And then you do the other triangle if you first. Okay. Yeah, and then if you want to do the other triangle, you don't want to back substitute, you do four, five, and six, and then you'll be left with number, 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 hopefully. Okay. Huh. And if you wanted, you could just make it easier by just doing four, or just doing four or five, and then figuring out from there, like substituting easier. Yeah, yeah, you, and you can make little combinations of this, right? Like. Mm -hmm. If you can blast these, if you can blast these two right away, then you're set up to back substitute and needing this one is, or the second one is left.